So, I had a rough day. Sure did. And Eve also is not having a great day. Right. She, we don't really know what happened. She kind of got scared, but we again, we think she jerked her leg and she reacted. So, we're just taking her to the vet. Yeah. Um, it's been a few days and we were just going to play it safe and bring her. Yeah. Well, I'm going to bring her. Right. So, everything else that the night holds depends on that. Yes. Crazy city living is when you might as well walk to the vet because your car is parked pretty much equal distance from your home to the vet itself. So I'm walking her in. Um, I know it's windy, but I had to show you this awesome looking Whole Foods that I'm about to go peruse across the street while I wait for Eve. Just dropped her off at Wrigleyville Vet. Um, I think she's going to be okay, but you know, it's stressful being a, a pet owner. All right, I'm wait I'm hanging out in the Whole Foods and I figure I might as well grab a little treat for Eve because nobody likes going to the doctor. So I think I'm going to pick up one of these packs for her while I wait. Just like that, I'm done with Whole Foods. Eve is ready and they just think it's inflamed and a little sore. So we got a little bit of medicine and to keep it easy. The cowboy. New York strip steak, avocado, tomato, Never let white Grant cheese. order your okay food. Yeah. Okay. We have visitors tonight. The we're Parmesan. Putting, we're putting Luca to work. beef, black beans, plantains, and cheese. I've had both of those ones. And then, last but not least, for Sarah and Peter, the only one they can eat, the Domino. No, we're going to spill it all. Beans, <laughs> black beans and cheese. convinced us to get the Arepas place in the neighborhood. What's it called? Link Bolivar and Lincoln. Oh. Got some Bolivar Venice. Like the leader of them, like the first leader of them. Fun fact, Grant lived in Venezuela for how many years? Is the party animal? These are our rapists, by the way. Oh my gosh! That Ham looks and divine. Ham and cheese. What was this one? Champignon. Mmm. And then uh, chicken and banana. We're just sharing all these delicious sandwiches. Mm. It's not glamorous, but it's delicious. Chicanos. We have to cook them though. They uh, came frozen, so Grant's kind of perturbed. I'm very mad. It'll be okay. They look delicious. They, they only bake for like three minutes. Uh, Grant got to, he was all speaking all Venezuelan and fancy with these guys because they're three brothers who own this joint. And he's like, hey, are you uh, one of the brothers? Because we walk in and Grant's like, my guy's not here. Um, but it's the guy's brother. It's the guy's brother. He so looked exactly like him. He hooked us up with some, some good stuff. Process. I think we just tossed him in. I think it's They talked about him. Yeah, the guy do. They do. He's like, yeah, you, 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 what, what are you saying? He's like, you went to Campo Alegre. Like, yeah. I went to Campo Alegre. <laughs> All right, they look like a light color, but there's cheese exploding on some of them. May I help you? Yeah, what they do? I'm looking on the cheese sticks things. Done? Almost. We have to go with your dad. He knows if they're done or not. All right, the verdict was to take them out because they're bursting with the cheese, but they do look light. But maybe they're just very flowery. I don't know. I've never had these. I'm gonna put them on a big plate and we're gonna bring them out and dish them out. We got little serving plates. Got this thing of delicious cheesy doughiness. Let's see how this goes. I, they, they smell good. They look good. What's wrong? What's not to like? As long as you're a person who eats cheese, it's just like cheese and flour. Where are you, where are you going, Vivi? Where are you going? You guys have the same name. Maybe even me get with the older two. Where may honey go? 
now we to go under here. Can you show me how you do it? Wow, you did it. Okay, she did You see you? Right, we're gonna do a little before and after, but here's how it's looking so far. Christina and Grant and the kids left, but there's with two. I wanted to get that up before I left so they can see how cool it's gonna look with how it's got like the little ball joints in the corner. And I have the, the hook swall anchors, doodads, doohickeys up already. And you see there how it connects. And these things are like adjustable. You can spin them to different angles. So I'm gonna get the other ones up. But I think, think um, we have a, a, acquired a deal to get a steamer. We're gonna borrow Sarah's sister's steamer. So I think we're gonna put up the blinds today. Put them up now. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. And Eve, I don't know, I think I said it earlier, but it's not sprained, her leg's not sprained, it's not broken. They, she wouldn't be able to do what she's done. The doctor took her on a walk and everything and it looks great. They think it's just like her kneecaps, I guess, are in the wrong spot um, or like slightly misaligned. So they, that's not new is what they made it seem like. That's just something she's been living with. I'll, I'll come over. Um, they, basically they said, if that's like the case for her, like her, her knees may always be like that. And then sometimes when she, when they land a certain way on a jump, it hurts, but then it just stops. And so it's not anything long lasting. The only solution would be surgery, but because it's so infrequent, it just so happened that she probably just twinged it worse than she usually does. Yeah, so they gave us like some painkiller slash anti-inflammatory yeah. medicine to give for the next couple days. <gasps> yeah, but worth a little bit of peace of mind. They did say if it continues and she's like really uncomfortable, we can do an x-ray. But they really don't think it's the bone, which is what an x-ray would show. She's clearly doing She needs to get up to the if, they, if anything, it would be a tendon. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we have to get our, our, we have to get the steamer to steam all that, all the wrinkles out from the two, the two here panels are new. And then these panels are the ones from our old apartment. So overall, we just have to steam them, steam all the wrinkles out. Um, I can't wait to see in the morning how it looks like with the sun coming in. And we've situated it, in a, situated it in a way where like this panel goes left, that panel goes left, that panel goes left, left. So then when they're all open, we can easily have all the windows open. That look, does that look cozy? Let me back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Does that look cozy or what for like a fun little play area, huh? Yeah, I'm so happy that we got the couch door. Also... Christine and I took the, the table out because we ordered the new table gets here on Monday. So we took that to the dumpster as well. We are wasting no time. No, but like, look at, sorry, there's, there's some Jamesy boy. Um, but like, look at, so like that, those bins are going to go away. We, just have to, we have to find new homes for that stuff. And the, well, that's going to go to the next Billy, but we'll find homes for that. But how this just like, Like now look at how like we were talking about the view of the living room from this perspective. If we weren't like, this is why we wanted the couch to fit here so bad. It's cause of that. So now all we need is like this little table, not little, but it's a small one, that other one circular. It's gonna go here. And then the living room's wide open, wide open like from floor layout perspective. That's like from here over will be done. That's gonna go away. And then we're gonna get the other matching bookshelf whenever if they ever get restocked no um, you're supposed to say when when they get restocked. i'm sorry when they get restocked we'll get it um because they still make it and it's been they've made it since like the 70s so i'm sure they'll continue but then our living room is almost done <sighs> feel good feels so good we're going to hang up the sheet music that was in our bedroom above the tv yeah so it'll be bookshelf tv Sheet music, bookshelf. The day we message for the 18th, music and the soul can be heard by the universe. Lao Tzu. It's one of my favorite new girl scenes ever. Slow motion chicken dance. Look at these curtains. 
Look at these friends. I want to snap my hands and I want to. Baby fell over. We're good. Um, he fell. Hold on. I'm holding him up and he seems to be back asleep. You want to snap your fingers and what? All the stuff to be put away and hung. We're so close, baby. I know. And work's been rough this week. We gotta get out. We gotta get out into the city and we gotta find me a new job, too. Oh. I got pros and cons that's going on in my head. Because it's really cool this job's letting me go remote. Right, and you really and do. You really do enjoy your work. It's just been like a seven month, like, rough stretch of projects. But. On also, top of a pandemic. On top of a newborn baby. On top of a move. On top of a move, so. Um, but my boss knows. My coworkers know. This is the darkest, gloomiest, like, grainy shot ever. It's almost the weekend, mm -hmm. and I can't wait for tomorrow that it's Friday. Me too. We were not as good about midnight bedtime this week. Or getting up early. Or getting up early, so obviously they're correlated. But... Yeah. We're good there. We, get there. We're gonna, we don't have, like, too many plans this weekend, but we're going to make it fun. I have an idea. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>